Hey guys, it's Dietitian Diana, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering some of the top questions we receive about berberine and type 2 diabetes. But before I go on, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Now, before I dive into the questions, I do want to preface this by saying we primarily advocate for lifestyle changes to address the root cause of type 2 diabetes. So focusing on your diet and your exercise, those are going to be the most effective ways to reverse the root cause of type 2 diabetes, which is insulin resistance. We also truly believe in berberine's effectiveness. I mean, we've read the research and it is a very effective supplement to take. So berberine should be seen as something you can also include in your journey to manage diabetes. It shouldn't just be about taking berberine or just taking supplements because you do have to put in more of an effort to see results. But based off of the research, berberine does show it can have quite a potential to help reduce blood sugar levels. And one of the most important things if you have diabetes is getting your blood sugar levels under control. So berberine can definitely help with this. Okay, let's dive into the questions. First up is, does berberine lower A1C? So if you're not familiar with what A1C is, it's a test that measures your blood sugar over the course of three months. So it's a long-term measure of blood sugar. And the answer to this is yes, multiple research studies show that berberine has the potential to lower A1C. When looking at the research, it shows that when people took berberine either alone or they combined it with diabetes medications like metformin, their A1C levels actually dropped more than people who just did lifestyle changes or who took a placebo. That's why we're big advocates for doing both lifestyle changes and incorporating berberine because together they can have a profound effect on your blood sugar levels. When we look more specifically at the research, there's this one randomized control study. It was about three months long and individuals who took berberine they experienced decreases in their A1C from 9.5 to 7.5 percent. So they dropped on average about 2 percent in their A1C. So this is a pretty significant drop in A1C by just adding berberine in. And the study also showed that when the people combined their berberine with their diabetes medication, they saw even better results compared to people who just took their diabetes medication. I do want to point out that the research does show that berberine tends to not be as effective in people who are over 60 years old, particularly when they consume less than 1.5 grams per day. So that's something that the research also showed. So if you are over the age of 60, make sure you're taking at least 1.5 grams or 1500 milligrams a day. Okay, question number two, how much does berberine lower A1C? So berberine typically lowers A1C by about 0.63% on average. So that's looking at all the different meta-analyses, which are studies that examine studies, but it does have the potential to reduce your A1C even more as evidenced by that randomized control trial I just talked about. With that clinical trial showed that berberine lowered A1C as much as 2% in newly diagnosed individuals and 0.8% in individuals with more poorly controlled diabetes. So if you're someone who is newly diagnosed with diabetes, you you may see even greater results when you take berberine versus someone who has very poorly controlled diabetes or has had diabetes for a very long time. Doesn't mean you won't see results, but maybe they won't be as great or um, as large as someone who is newly diagnosed with diabetes. Okay, question number three, how long does it take on average for berberine to reduce blood sugar? So what the research shows is that on average, it can take as little as one week for berberine to start having a positive effect on blood sugar. But you probably won't see more significant changes until around week five and after. And then its ability to lower A1C, it's going to take about three months because that's what A1C measures. It's a measure of the last three months. So you want to take berberine consistently for three months to see what kind of effect it has on your A1C. Okay, next up, how much berberine should a person with type 2 diabetes take? So most studies demonstrate that berberine is going to be most effective in between a range of 0.9 grams all the way to 2.4 grams per day. And this is usually broken up in two to three doses throughout the day. So it's typical supplement schedule could be 500 milligrams three times a day or 600 milligrams two times a day. Both will be very effective and should lead to results. Okay, next up is what is the most effective way to take berberine? Okay, as I mentioned, it's best to take it in smaller doses multiple times a day. So again, 500 milligrams three times a day or 600 milligrams 
two times a day. Ideally, you want to get between 1200 and 1500 milligrams. One of the most effective ways to take berberine is to continue taking it with your metformin. So if you've been prescribed metformin, which is a very common diabetes medication, it is best to continue to take it with your metformin. When people took berberine by itself versus berberine with their metformin, their blood sugar levels dropped significantly more when they took it with their metformin. And it was almost twice as much. So people who took berberine and metformin saw an average drop of 17.8 milligrams per deciliter versus people who just took berberine, which they saw a drop of about 10.6 milligrams per deciliter. This combination approach also resulted in better post-meal blood sugar levels and also better A1C levels as well. So if you already take metformin, don't stop your metformin. You should never stop any medications unless advised by your physician. But the research shows that adding berberine to metformin can have a synergistic effect on your blood sugar, meaning it can have a more profound effect on blood sugar. One of the most common side effects people experience when taking berberine is stomach upset, including nausea and digestive discomfort. So to help prevent this, the best thing you can do is just take your berberine with your meals. You can take it either right before or you can take it during. The food in your stomach will act like a cushion and it'll help prevent or reduce any feelings of discomfort. Plus, if you take berberine in smaller doses, around 500 or 600 milligrams per day, that is also going to lessen the side effects of nausea, of stomach problems, um, taking it in smaller doses multiple times rather than taking a really big dose of berberine. So berberine is a fat-soluble compound, meaning it needs fat in order to be absorbed into our body. Another effective way to take berberine is to not only include it with food, but when you have that meal, make sure you are including a healthy fat. So by including a healthy fat with your meal, you're going to help improve berberine's absorption. Plus including a fat with your meal is going to slow down digestion and it's going to basically increase the time berberine can be absorbed from the gut. So it gives your body more of a chance to absorb that berberine. Healthy fats that you could include with your meals, it's gonna be things like avocado, olive oil or avocado oil, olives for that matter, nuts and seeds, all really good sources of healthy fats. Also including black pepper, if, if it makes sense. Obviously if you're having oatmeal, it might be a little weird to add black pepper to your oatmeal, although you probably won't even taste it. But adding a little bit of black pepper to your meals is when you take berberine is also going to really help improve its absorption. And that's because black pepper has an active ingredient called piperin. And piperin appears to enhance berberine's bioavailability, which basically means our body's ability to absorb it. Okay, next up is, is it safe to take berberine with metformin? So as I mentioned before, berberine and metformin work very well together. And research shows that berberine works as effectively as metformin to lower blood sugar. However, there are several factors to consider. So berberine is sold as a supplement and the supplement industry is not regulated. So if you are taking berberine, you wanna make sure it's from a company that you trust and that does third-party testing to ensure it is of a high quality and there's no contaminants in it. Metformin, on the other hand, since it's a medication, it has to be regulated by the FDA. Because of this, it has a ton of scientific backing. There's tons of testing behind it to make sure it's effective. And although the research shows berberine is just as effective at lowering blood sugar levels than metformin, the research does show that metformin tends to lower blood sugar levels slightly quicker than berberine. So another thing to consider. But again, taking them together can have more of a profound effect according to the research. You should always talk to your doctor if you have any questions about mixing supplements with medication. And please never stop any medications that are prescribed by your doctor unless you talk to them first. It's very, very important. They put you on a medication for a reason. Having high blood sugar levels is very dangerous. And so there's a reason they prescribe these medications to get them under control and to help um, prevent diabetes complications, which are very serious. So if you do have any questions, whether you can take berberine or if it's okay to add to your treatment plan, definitely talk to your doctor about it. Okay, the last question is, who should not take berberine? So pregnant women, nursing mothers, and children should definitely not take berberine. In newborns, it can cause a serious condition called kernicterus. So if you are pregnant or if you're a nursing mother, just stay away from berberine. And then there are certain prescription medications that don't 
don't mix well with berberine. So if you're taking any of these medications, it's probably best not to take berberine. Always consult your doctor if you are starting a new supplement and you are on prescription medications. And then lastly, if you are on certain diabetes medications that could cause hypoglycemia, so for example, insulin or sulfonylureas, you should be extra cautious because berberine has the tendency to lower blood sugar. So if you're already on blood sugar lowering medications and you lower your blood sugar even more, then you could be more at risk for hypoglycemia. So just be extra cautious. If you are on insulin or sulfonylureas, you do want to be measuring your blood sugar more frequently and making sure you avoid hypoglycemia at all costs. So there you have it. Those are some of the top questions we get asked about berberine and type 2 diabetes specifically. If you have any questions, just drop them below in the comments and we will definitely get to them. Berberine does show tremendous promise. But overall, remember consistency is key with berberine. It is something you need to take every day. You need to be consistent with it to see those results. But remember, it's not a replacement for your current medications or for lifestyle changes. Doing all together is going to work much more efficiently, effectively than just taking berberine alone. And if you are interested in taking berberine, you probably already know we have our own supplement line called Jade Supplements. We created it because of how many questions we were getting about berberine given how much research there is behind it. But we just didn't feel comfortable recommending a specific supplement because we wanted to make sure we truly trusted the brand. So that's why we decided to create our own. We work with a manufacturing company that produces the berberine here in the US. It's an FDA registered facility. And one of the reasons we chose this manufacturer is because of how rigorously they test their berberine. Each batch is tested multiple times to make sure that there is no contaminants like heavy metals or bacteria, and to make sure it has the exact amount of berberine that it says on the label. Because let me tell you, there are a lot of supplement companies out there that claim they have something, but don't even add it to their supplement. And we designed ours to be properly dosed. Remember that taking too little or too much isn't a good thing either. So one serving of ours is 1200 milligrams. Each capsule is 600 milligrams. So just take one capsule with your breakfast or lunch, and then one capsule with your dinner and you are set for the day. If you are interested in trying our berberine, you could head to jadesupplements.com or just click the link below. I'll add it to our description. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and make sure that notification bell is on so that you get notified when we release new videos. All right, see you in the next one.